What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike Sasser, big war photographer in Los Angeles, California. And today is gonna be maybe the most valuable video I've shared on YouTube yet. I think this is where my channel peaks. Reminds me of fourth grade. For you the same? Fifth grade? Sixth grade? The number one question that I get asked from photographers is do I use strobes? And the answer to that question is no. I don't use strobes, I use 100% natural light for my boudoir shoots and today I'm going to show you how to do the same. I decided to make this video because while I think a lot of photographers know that lighting is important, boudoir photographers have a tendency to like focus on posing and therefore they kind of miss out on what light can do for them. So the way I look at it is like light's most important and then posing. I'm gonna walk you through the basic three natural lighting techniques that I use front light, backlight, and as a little bonus, silhouette. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna bring these pictures into Lightroom and show you guys how to get the most out of these lighting setups. And just as a reminder, we're doing this without any extra pieces of gear. So no light modifiers, no reflectors, no popsicle sticks, no Legos, no chocolate chips. They get it. What's up, Leah? <laughs> you picked the wrong person to be on camera with. Okay guys, this is Olivia. She's gonna be helping us out today. So thank you so much, Olivia. If you guys wanna check out her stuff, there's a, gonna be a link somewhere, somewhere in the interwebs. First look that we're gonna do is basically just called front lit. And that's what I'm calling it. I think that's what most people call it. So that's what we're gonna call it today. This is basically anytime I wanna light up their face uh, really beautifully, anything that's like portrait, I want their eyes to shine, is you want your back to the window and have your client looking towards that window. So over here we've got this Lots of windows. There's a lot of windows in this place. Quick little natural light bonus tip. Um, I recommend getting these shears. I just got them from Amazon. There's a link in the description, but they basically filter the light, make it really beautiful and clean and good for skin tones and it's the best. So here we've got, she's looking into our light source and then I'm gonna put my back up against the back uh, next to the window and then I'm gonna be shooting in towards her. So here you see it in a diagram, that top thing is a window, then you've got you and then your client. I couldn't get over how adorable that client little icon was so I just, I had, I had to use it. You put your back towards the light source and you have your client looking towards that. So it's gonna go light source, you, client. Client, you, light source. Light source, you get it. So we're gonna get uh, just a test shot. <laughs> All right, one, two, three, that's great. Separate your feet a little bit and just rock your way onto one hip like this. And then go ahead and play with your necklace a little bit. In this case, you can see basically the whole point, there's like no shadows under anywhere. It's super soft on the skin. This is the goal we're going for with this front lid. So you can use this if they're standing, if they're sitting, if they're on the bed, pretty much no matter where they are. So let's look at a second example of this. This way and your feet facing this way on your stomach. Like these. Perfect. Okay, so basically exact same example. We've got our window light coming this way. It's just gonna light her up real nice. Eyes are gonna glow. And we're gonna put our back to the windows and have her look towards the windows. Lighting, front lit, front light with the light at the front. Maybe like a hand on the... Uh... So the second light that we're gonna focus on is just called uh, backlight or rim light or edge light or ledge light. I wrote down more ledge light, rear light, side light. For the purposes of this video, we're just gonna call it backlight. The whole point of backlight is to highlight the shape of your client's body. For me, I use this anytime I'm trying to show off the lines for back or her legs or anything like that, collarbones. This is the kind of light that I'm using. And it's a little bit different than front light. Basically what you're trying to do is form a triangle between the light, you, and your client. So let me explain that here. Fingertips here and your uh, arch back. So basically here, the triangle that we have is from this window to Olivia to me. That's the shape, that's what triangles look like. Depending on how small you want your triangle, the further I move over here, the more extreme that highlight to shadow ratio is going to be. The more you move over here, the less so, the more even the light is going to be. Perfect. So you're gonna go hands here, you know, hips way back here. Okay. So in this case, we're using the light that's coming from, from these lights that's highlighting the front of her body. And then there's also this window in the back that's highlighting the back of her body. But the real key to this is to be shooting into a dark background. So we've got this wall 
right here behind her. She's gonna go from dark skin in the shadow to light highlight that the light, the light is hitting. And then it's gonna show the dark background and that's going to show that depth. Let's do another example. So I love coffee table shots. They're really good for extending your client's body. Um, it stretches them out really nicely. Actually, when I was in my studio in Denver and I wanted to find this cool coffee table, I found one, it was like custom made. I went up to pick it up from this guy and it looked like a little bit flimsy. So I asked him, I was like, is this pretty sturdy? Could this like support somebody's body weight? <laughs> and he was like, does it need to? I was like, never mind, you have a nice night. I just drove away. <laughs> in this case, our triangle is not pure horizontal, but because uh, it's like light, me and then her. So the triangle is now this way. I'm gonna be shooting down into this wood and then she's got all of this light coming and it's going to be hitting the sides of her body. Just go ahead and grab this guy up above you and then just bring your elbows in really nice and close. That's perfect. Deep breath and arch your back just a little bit and then breathe through your mouth. To make the shot stand out more, I recommend closing all the other windows in your room except for the one right next to your client. This is just gonna increase the effect because there will be less light in the room to fill in those shadows. Okay, so the third, uh, that's kind of like a little bonus option for, for how I do natural light shots, it's called a silhouette. And basically you only need two things for a silhouette. You need for the front of your subject, this part that you're shooting into, to have no light coming uh, towards that area. And then the second thing is that you're gonna be shooting into something really, really bright. So in the same way that we were making a triangle with our initial for backlight, we're gonna close that triangle, we're just gonna make it a straight line. So we're gonna shoot directly into the window, directly into the light source. And that's going to give us our silhouette, our figure that only shows the shape. So we're gonna do that uh, with you up against the refrigerator. Does that feel nice and cold? Yes. Nice and good? Great. Refreshing. Here's my camera. So go ahead and arch, point that toe. We're gonna start just with your hands just right here. Get down in my little nook. And then go up high, reach up all the way, touch the ceiling. Okay, uh, the next silhouette we're gonna do, we're gonna do one over by the bed. Hands and knees with your hands here and your knees kind of towards that corner. Oh, I didn't blow it up again today. <laughs> Air mattress. <laughs> Gotta make sure it's nice and full. <laughs> so from this side of the room, there's basically no light coming forward here, uh, but we have these windows in the back that are coming back behind her. So that's what we're gonna shoot in. So again, if we shoot from above, we're gonna see that triangle. We're gonna get all that rim light um, that looks so beautiful. But if we get down on her level and shoot directly into the windows, we're gonna get that silhouette. So let's see both. Perfect. Amazing. That's great. You're just gonna shift your whole weight forward a little bit. Yeah, right there. From the exact same pose, we just did silhouette from low. We did rim light getting from above. And then if you come over here and you put your back to the window, you can basically shoot this exact same thing, but front lit. Go ahead and actually just lay down. So here are most of the images that we used in the video. So we're gonna go through and take a look at some of the ones that are front lit, how I would edit those, some of the ones that are backlit, how I would edit those, some of the ones that are silhouettes and how I would edit those. So let's go ahead and just bring this one up here real quick. Now you can see that this image to start off with is actually, it's really pretty nice. That's kind of the whole point of that front lit. Not a whole lot of shadows. She's lit up really beautifully. Probably the only few things that I would do here are to do a preset. Love this one for inside. And then her face is, I like really, really bright faces. So what we're gonna do is hit Shift M and just draw this little guy over her face. So basically to be able to do this is the radial filter. I put my exposure at plus 0.3 and then I do an invert. And then you just drag over the area at which you want it done. Uh, we'll take a look at this one. We'll start off the same way, skin. Her skin is a little bit too bright. We'll bring it down a little bit. We'll do this as well. And this one may be even a little vignette. 
Let's throw a little vignette in there. I'm super happy with that, so we'll go ahead and leave it. So that's basically how I would edit front lit. Just brighten up their faces a little bit, get the exposure right. Let's take a look at the backlit images. So here's that one where we had the light. There's a window coming from here. There's a window coming from here. And so we're getting these beautiful lines, these highlights here on her body, here on her forehead and on her shoulder and on her arm. So basically we're also gonna start with this. Now to get some more contrast in this image to really make it pop, some people will drag the blacks down. I don't really recommend that because you can see what it's doing to her skin. It's pushing a bunch of color into it. You're losing all this information. Instead of doing the blacks, I really recommend the shadows. So look at the difference here when we bring the shadows all the way down. Super smooth, you still have a ton of contrast but it's not as intense. Her face is a little bit dark for me now, so I'm gonna brighten that back up using that Shift M trick there. And that is, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what I would do. Let's take a look at another one here. We'll go this beautiful shot. So again, we can see these little highlights here. Shadow, highlight, shadow, highlight, shadow, highlight, shadow. So all we're gonna do is do a preset. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna bring our shadows all the way down. And this is just like, it's such a cool, dark and moody shot. So you guys can do this anywhere that you've got a window, make that triangle, bring it into your editing software, bring the shadows all the way down, you'll be set. Let's take a look at a silhouette. So silhouettes are pretty much already done, except that the windows are a little too bright. So we are going to just bring the highlights down a little bit for that. And that's pretty much it. You could do a preset, but honestly, you're not gonna see too much of a difference there just because there's her skin is already so dark this is perfect so we'll do a front lit version oh what a fun shot we'll do this we'll brighten up her face throw a little vignette and i love that let's do the dark and moody version we'll do a preset we'll brighten it up a little bit and then we'll darken the darks and then we'll brighten up her face we're gonna have to do this a couple times to make sure that we can really get it to where it brightens up. Maybe bring up the shadows a little bit just so that we can see a tiny bit of information in there. That looks really beautiful. So there you go. That's how I would edit these three different types of pictures. Olivia's gonna stick around. We're gonna shoot a little bit. So I'm gonna flash the pictures at the end of this video of the ones that we are about to take. So stick around and enjoy those. And then I'll see you in the next videos for more Q and A's, more tutorials, you know the drill. I'll see you then.